Silvera was picked up last evening at an Upper St. Andrew house by detectives from the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Major Investigation Division, MID. He was led away in handcuffs to the MID's headquarters on Spanish Town Road, then whisked away to a police lockup in the corporate area, where he spent the night behind bars. It was initially reported that Melissa Silvera died in her sleep. However, a post-mortem later disclosed that she was shot at least three times. Following this development, the police questioned Silvera twice and seized his licensed firearm and his mobile phone. Extensive forensic work has reportedly established a connection between Silvera's gun and the murder of his wife, with whom he had a turbulent relationship. It's believed Melissa was gunned down at the couple's home in Stony Hill, St. Andrew. Melissa's murder has sent shockwaves through the country. Her husband, Jolion, who's now a suspect in her murder, is a high-profile former member of parliament. Up to the point where the death of his wife was treated as a murder investigation, he was busy on the campaign trail for the PNP and has been photographed in the company of the opposition leader. Melissa was the goddaughter of former Prime Minister and ex-PNP President P.J. Patterson. Her family is highly regarded in the halls of the PNP. In a heartfelt written tribute that was included in the program at her funeral, which was held last week, Mr. Patterson grieved for Melissa, whom he described as his niece. The former Prime Minister expressed condolences to Melissa's three boys, but did not mention by name her husband, Jolian Silvera. The police investigation into the murder of Melissa Silvera has led to statements being taken from several people who visited the scene after news surfaced of her demise. A statement was reportedly collected from PNP Vice President and Member of Parliament for Northwest Manchester, Mikhail Phillips. It's understood that the police also made arrangements to collect a statement from the wife of a high-profile PNP politician who visited the bloody scene when news surfaced that Melissa died in her sleep. It's not immediately clear if that statement was collected. Statements have also reportedly been collected from individuals who Mr. Silvera is alleged to have told that Melissa had passed away in her sleep while she was in his company. Jolly and Silvera is reportedly strongly denying wrongdoing. The embattled PNP politician has hired King's Counsel Peter Champagny. Champagny is expected to be at the MID headquarters Friday morning, where the police will move to undergo a final round of interrogation of his client. It's expected that Mr. Silvera will then be prosecuted and brought before the criminal court. On November 10, 2023, about 7 a.m., the police initially responded to what appeared to be a death investigation at the residence of Jolan and Melissa Silvera. After the autopsy report, it was revealed that Mrs. Silvera had not died from natural causes, but as a result of possible gunshot wounds. As a consequence, the police elevated the investigation into a murder investigation. Despite public speculation, the Jamaica Constable of Force, in its commitment to transparency, swiftly launched a thorough investigation to address any concerns of a cover-up. For transparency to be maintained, the matter was reassigned to the Major Investigation Division, MID. Several lines of inquiry were drawn during the investigative process, and having satisfied ourselves that there is sufficient evidence to mount a viable prosecution, as a consequence, consultation was made with the offices of the Director of Public Prosecution, who concur with our findings. Jolan Silvera, the husband of the deceased Mrs. Melissa Silvera, has been taken into custody as a suspect in this case. This significant development is a testament to the dedication of the JCF in serving the public and upholding the principles of being a force for good. The JCF remains resolute in its commitment to transparency, justice and public safety. We understand the concerns of the public and this update is provided to assure that our work is ongoing and focus on seeking the truth. I extend my deepest gratitude to the key stakeholders who have played pivotal roles in the exhaustive and meticulous process of unhurting critical evidence. During the investigation, several lines of inquiries were explored with the support of several entities. So yeah, JY family, 
me just play all of them there for get get you guys up to date for those who missed the live stream last night so we we reach an advanced stage in this case right now remember say from this start with dip on it like a perry mason you know a mat like himself yeah man when you dip on it like peter champagne because Peter Champagne make a statement say he he would he would be foolhardy to comment on it. I think he's right about that. Trust me, because from this case start, Peter Champagne take people for idiot. Hmm? But him are doing job still. Him get him paid for doing job, but that him paid for. But Mr. Champagne. Why, I don't know how to sleep at night time, trust me. Especially, when you say you don't have people and you don't have family. Trust me. Um, I will tell you that the investigations are continuing. Um, it would be foolhardy of me to comment beyond that. Um, there will be, as I said, um, other aspects of the investigations to be pursued. And beyond that, I have no comment. Is it that he will be in custody for the night? Pardon? Can you confirm whether he will be in custody for the night? He will be with the police uh, until tomorrow and then we see what happens from there. Okay? But beyond that, I have no comment. I don't want nobody to come on my funeral come ball for me. Nobody. Anybody ball for me, I don't to get up and box them. Investigators probing the death of Melissa Silvero. Sylvia have been charged her husband Jylan with murder. Detective assigned to the major investigation division charge the St. Mary Western Member of Parliament today following a third round of questioning. Jylan was taken into custody on Thursday afternoon. JY family them charge the crocodile man them officially charge the crocodile man yeah finally jy family i don't know how them allow this man if they are a funeral a ball to other people them family listen to me minute if you didn't know say pj patterson needs this i never know jy family i was so shocked i never knew at all Trust me, yeah, Melissa is PJ Patterson's niece. Yeah, so I don't know how this man of the thing say him couldn't get where. Eh? Yo, no, sir. Anyway, let me go further into it, JY family. Ballistic tests have reportedly connected. Mr. Silvera, firearm. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. To the brutal crime. JY family. The man pump shot in his wife. You know, JY family. One day, if you don't see what I go on, or hear what I go on, or understand what I go on. The man pump three shot in his wife. I said, the woman, listen to me. Listen to me. I hope the next card and a psychiatric. I hope the next card where they might go pull you now and a psychiatric evaluation, you know. I hope they not say forgive him no psychiatric evaluation, you know. Even though I know say a mad people operation them yeah, them not forgive him no evaluation. The man is a natural wicked bed bug. Them man use the, 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 the taxpayer money and cover them bed bug style in a JY family. A bed bug operation them here in a JY family. Me Karachi, Jaji, Paji, no sir. Yo, the man pump shot in his wife and, and, and say, a, 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 a natural death. And come at the people them funeral within crocodile tears. I spit on your grave. You don't watch the movie there. No, sir. Mm -mm. Wow. Mr. Silvera, who remained in custody this afternoon, 
is expected to spend weekends behind bar weekends. I'm telling you, say, them to bring the chair and put him to stand up on it. Put him to stand up on the chair and get a pound of rope at the shop and put it on one tree and kick the chair. I don't know YouTube rule and I read between the lines. But weekend, them man enough to come back nowhere near people pitney. Eh? Them need to investigate. Them need to in go back to investigate the, the um him son death. No, sir. Mm -mm. The ballist are the ballistic test in the JY family. No, the ballistic test. Is when them send their gun, right? Remember saying, you know, man, each each gun, you know, have a stamp, you know. Every shot where you fire, it, it's like you have a code. Me don't know much about gun. You know, can comment down below and tell me more. But it it's like it have a code, like a number, a special number. You understand? Them can know. Which shot left which gun, JY family? Mm -hmm. You understand? Every gun have a unique code that stamp. When you select it, you understand? Them can know which gun, but them need the actual gun to test it for know which which arm um, gun fire this specific shot. So when them go and test it, them see say are the same gun for him license. Firearm in you know, a JY family. The man use what what the lady could and do so. What the lady could uh, what is uh, a sacrifice? A sacrifice is uh, a must no sir. JY family Boy Stay tuned. May I go go on some more as we get some more information when we follow the tone about we have a whole heap of things where we are going to cover in JY family come on man come on you can't read so far and don't press the like button hit the bell icon to be notified and this is the channel you need to subscribe to that you didn't know you need to subscribe to do the right thing man Jamaica, me not sell out Them try clip with wings, somehow we can't fly out But when we there, yard, yeah, nothing nice like Jamaica Roast bread, fruit and banana Under the tree, with a glass of